Hello everyone. Today I am going to show you how to add object values into Material UI Select Component in React. Let's get started. We can select from the drop down and also in the initial render, the default value is getting selected as well. To begin with, I have created a simple React app with Material UI added as a dependency. So as you can see, I have added the Material UI code and the React library. Now in my app.js file, I have simply added a form control with a select, which is provided by Material UI. The documentation I have copied, simply copied this text into my code base and I have added some changes like I had some uh, menus my own menus and I had I have created the state and the selected car variable will keep the variable which is selected by the drop down and also uh, when the is changed this function will be triggered and will change function will change the selected car variable accordingly and to begin with I have assigned a variable named my car as the initial value of the drop down overall view will be something like this you have three options when you choose the options the value will be reflected on the right side assume that this my car is an object with an id of 1 and name with the value bfw now let's say this value is taken from a list of car objects so it will be a list let me add this object to this and create some more car objects okay, we have the is now and we can look through this list at the options so all cars dot map let's take one by one and name it it as car and I'm going to return an item with the value being car and the car dot name will be shown in the drop down and also we need to provide the unique key ID and also in the selected file will show the name on the right side. Okay, so if you go back to the original view, so what we can see here is you cannot see the object that have been that has been selected here, but you can see the BMW. Um, the object BMW is selected. Let's see. So when we select the options, the object value is getting assigned. But the problem is we cannot see in the drop down select. So what you can do is you can just add the ID into the value again so when you select on the values values get assigned it will be shown in the select but name the value is going to be the id but we don't need that we just need the value to 
be assigned as an object and also the value should be reflected over here should be the name so let's get it back together and what we can do is we can create a simple function get index of the uh, object in the list so let's say get index for that we need the id of the selected car and also the let's say we need all cars array as well then step for loop and let's okay so if all cars item dot id is equal to the id that you are passing in we need to return the index so that is the index of the car if not i'll return empty string so the drop down will be empty so from here the value we can say let's let the value be from all cars and the index is getting from get car index and selected car id will be the id of selected car so what i'm doing here is from all cars array i need the i need the index of the index means the position of the car that i have selected from the all cars array because reason for getting the car from all cars array because this value will not will not be assigned in the select drop down unless it is equaled in the reference level so if you go to the material documentation in the value they say that if the value is an object it must have reference equality with the option in order to be set so in order to be selected these objects this object and this object should be the same so this object is coming from all cars and we need to get same object from the all cars array so that's why we are finding the index of the selected car from this array and assign it to the array. so if you go to the so if you go back to the browser and cannot wait for what length of undefined okay oh, we need to pass pass as it this is not necessary because we can access since it's a global variable but now i'll pass it as well so if you go back okay so now you can see we can select from the drop down and also in the initial render the default value is getting selected as well so that's how you do it and thank you for watching have a nice day